Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are solving for uh, angle theta when we're given a trig ratio um, value here that falls into one of our uh, special angle values. So the first thing that we want to do is to, um, you can use your calculator to solve for um, the value of theta using the inverse function. So we're going to do uh, the inverse sine of 1 over 2. And we can ignore that negative now because we're just going to use that to tell us which quadrant to use our, to draw our related acute angle in. And we don't have to put it into our um, inverse function here. So when you do this, we end up getting 30 degrees for theta. So this is the related acute angle. But we can put that in all four quadrants if we wanted to. The indicator that tells us which quadrants to put the angle, the angle into or the terminal arm is that negative on this sine function. So the negative tells us that um, according to the cast rule, this angle is going to be in the third and fourth quadrant because those are the two quadrants where sine is negative. So we want to draw our terminal arms in the third and in the fourth quadrant with the related angle of 30 degrees for each. Now, we're going to find angle theta by going from the positive x axis to the first terminal arm, and then we're going to find our second value of theta by going from the positive x axis around counterclockwise to the second terminal arm. And that gives us both values of theta that are going to satisfy this equation that we were given. So for the first one, we will do um, theta equals 180 degrees plus 30 degrees, and this is 210 degrees. And then for the angle in the fourth quadrant, theta will be 360 degrees minus 30 degrees, and we get 330 degrees degrees. So these are the two values that satisfy this equation. If you plug that into your calculator for a check, you'll see that both angle values give us a negative one half. So let's do that again now for this um, tangent theta equals root three. So we're going to start in the same way. Theta equals the inverse tangent of square root of 3 to see what our related acute angle is. When you do this, we get 60 degrees for the related acute angle. But again, we need to figure out which quadrant this relate which two quadrants this related acute angle is going to go in. So tangent here is positive and looking at our cast rule, the two quadrants where tangent is positive will be the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So those are the two quadrants we're going to draw that related acute angle of 60 degrees. So we get a 60 degree angle here and we get a 60 degree angle here. And now we're interested in finding out the principal angles that match those two related acute angles. So in our first quadrant, that one's very easy. The first quadrant related acute angle and principal angle are always the same. So the first uh, solution for theta we know is going to be 60 degrees. And then the second theta is going to be from the positive x-axis around to this terminal arm. And we calculate that by doing 180 degrees plus 60 degrees and so we get 240 degrees for the second value of theta. This means both of these angle values, 60 and 240 degrees, will satisfy this equation if you plug them back in 
um, to see if the values work. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.